Hey everybody, it's a beautiful Tuesday over here in Vanderwan Gardens and uh, just came back from a camping trip with the old Aspen Trail and a uh, nice thunderstorm last night so everybody got watered. But here's my watermelons, I've got three watermelon plants, actually four watermelon plants in three pots. I'm just going to train them on down there. Looks like I got some flowers on them already, so I hope I don't got a watermelon up there towards the base because I don't think these pots are going to like that. So these are my plants, my pepper plants. Got a Carolina Reaper and stuff in here. I let these guys go outside, wondering if there's going to be a difference between the outside grow and the inside grow. I think I might have to get a couple of cages on these guys. They're getting big enough. I'll move my basil outside because it was getting choked out in there. Moved another, what turned out to be a green pepper. So these guys are growing up nice. I still have no idea what those are. But yeah, this I believe, it's, it was marked jalapeno, but it looks green to me. This is today's bounty. I got a radish and some yellow tomatoes. And this is what the greenhouse is looking like today. What is this, June something, June 20, no, July 20th or so. The DWCs, they're doing okay. Oh, the one is doing okay. I got some fruit starting on it. But I don't think I'm ever going to do that again. It just seems like it's too fragile of a system. Three out of the four kind of failed. And, uh, whereas in my pots, nearly all of them, I think all of them succeeded. So we'll start on down here. We got some lettuce. Oh yeah, what are these fruits here? Hey, Pepper, how are you doing? Yeah, maybe one of these days I'll remember what in the heck they are. Here's the tag. The tag says... Carolina Reaper! Okay. And the fact that it's the red one, this tells me that this is one of my oldest peppers. Pepper plants. This one's been going since December was when I got the seeds. I got loads of lettuce. I gotta trim that off. So I ate some radishes and I put the tops back in just to see if they would grow. And uh, they're actually springing back. And you see, from the radishes that I ate, I seeded some, and so they're growing up. So, I've, uh, my tomatoes, they're going crazy. So, they're up to the ceiling, so now I'm trying to train them over here, seeing as how there's some space. And I just got that contractor stuff, the, the string. So yeah, you can see some little baby tomatoes. The ripe ones were on the sunny side. Somewhere in here there should be some Roma tomatoes. And then finally on this side should be the ugly tomatoes. So far I only see this one here. And then down there are some cherry tomatoes that I just planted from seed after everybody. The potatoes. They're just going wild in here. I got my purple scorpions. Got some more habaneros. This is the chocolate scorpion. This is the Count Dracula. I picked a few of those yesterday when they turned red. It's a very thick-skinned pepper with just a very mild heat. And uh, maybe I don't want to wait so long. I mean, you see that green one's getting pretty big. It's a tough pepper, and it doesn't taste very fruity. I think this here is another habanero. I got loads of habaneros. Brazilian orange starfish. Nice and tall. Lots of fruit going. This here is a red habanero. 
lots of fruit. This is a yellow ghost. These guys are looking yummers. This here is Carolina Reaper. These guys, or at least it's labeled that. So I'm seeing some good fruit there. My ties. Ornamental. The peppers are getting bigger. I can't wait for these guys to ripen up. I pulled some tiny ones off of there. This here is a red ghost. I got some littles. Over here is another Carolina Reaper. So lots of fruit on here. Probably more fruit than I'm going to be able to eat. So i got to start thinking about what I'm going to do. This one says Skunk Red. Got to do a lot of sharing. These are red habaneros. This plant was drooping over because of all the fruit, I think. So I put in a little aluminum stake for him. That's a skunk chocolate right there. These guys are big and bushy. I trimmed them back several times. I got these cute little dots in here. I actually pulled a couple of tiny-ish ones off of here yesterday and I ate them and they are spicy. But tiny. So I actually pulled one that was a big green pod in the hopes that it'll ripen up on the windowsill. And this here is another red habanero. This is one that I got from Weiss. And uh, got some fruit there. I saw a few of my praying mantises the other day. This here is a caramel ghost. These are supposed to be some, um, what the heck, golden... I forget what it is. These are just plants, just flowers. Companion plants. Now, I got some Japanese cucumbers. So, they're actually got some cucumbers on the vine. These guys, too, I'm going to try to train them up and over here because this is a an empty-ish spot. But, yeah, I got some cucumber, regular cucumbers and I got some squash growing vertically. Now, what are you? Hello. I know your, I know your label is in here somewhere. Oh well, maybe not. Oh, there you are. This is a jala habanero. So I guess it's a cross between a jalapeno and a habanero. But if you notice, they're growing up. So we'll see how that goes. Over here. We got a jigsaw peach. We'll see how that goes. Over here we have another red habanero. Over here we got a Franken. Oops, sorry. I got a bucket. I got a Frankenstein BBG. So that's how they look so far. It's a tall plant, big leaves. And here we've got a Trinidad Scorpion Mustard. So I can see the scorpion tail. And that, my friends, is the garden towards the end of July. So I'll check in with you again every once in a while. Current temperature inside is what, 76 degrees? Greenhouse is still standing. The water keeps trying to pool up there. So I got to do a better job. You see over here, 
the pool the water pooled and I I added more string here so I'll have to do the same thing over there to try to keep the water from pooling but who knows maybe this winter time I'll be able to keep this guy going for a while okay so I've got the side flaps open and over here is where I noticed I had some, some nice little tomatoes ready to be picked. You got to be vigilant, but there's loads of clusters on this side. But don't see very many Romas. And I only see the one ugly green, uh, ugly tomato. So we'll see. Ooh, are you ready to pick? No. I keep giving them a tug to see if those are ready to go. I already picked one and tried to eat it, and it wasn't very spicy. Not spicy like a ghost should be. So, so yeah. The shade cloth keeps getting blown. I don't really need the shade cloth today. I got some wild stuff growing. Some stuff that I did not plant. I'm not entirely sure what this is. But it's definitely of some sort of a vegetable. Zucchini or pumpkin. Got some nice ornamental grasses. I think I got from Mr. Kevin. my compost bin over here. I think I got these two little trees from Mr. Kevin as well. Got some day, got some viney type things. Got some peppermint. Got some ivy. And this is my compost area where I know I got some potatoes. But I don't know if these are zucchinis or pumpkins or what's going on over here. But mint. So we'll see. We'll see what these guys turn into. Anyway, signing off from Vanderwan Gardens.